I'm collecting samples of leaf litter off of the ground and I do this once a month. And I do this in different types of um, manipulation plots that we have in the forest where we have added leaf litter to some of these plots. So these, uh, the plots are areas of the floor, forest that we're studying. And um, right now I'm going to show you how I collect my samples of leaf litter off of the ground. So the first thing I do is measure off the location. And here I have my data sheet and I have all the locations, they're random locations where they're collected. And I have to measure off where the next sample is going to be collected. So from my data sheet, I can tell that the first sample, I need to go three meters in this direction. From, and so I first take a compass bearing and I see, okay, that tree is the direction I need to go. And I use my one meter stick to say, one, two, three. So this is where I'm going to collect a sample. And it's, it's important that the samples be collected from random locations, because if I, if I decide that one looks really nice, <laughs> it's not an accurate measurement of the quantity of leaf litter on the ground it would be influenced by my decision. So that's why I pre-select random locations. So here's the first one, and now we'll measure off another one. So for this one, it says I need to go two meters towards this tree over here. Okay, so now we have both of the sampling sites on the ground, and Lucia is going to help me collect the samples from here. So first, we put the pizza crisper <laughs> down on top. And the reason that we're using a pizza crisper is because we need to collect samples from the exact same size area for each sample. And so a pizza crisper is made out of metal. It's relatively cheap and it doesn't change size after months of use in the forest. So it's perfect for the job. This is like a punch of exactly what leaf litter is on the ground in this area. So we're cutting around the edge of the pizza crisper and the leaves on the outside are not part of the sample, only the leaves under the pizza crisper. So one of the things that's interesting for us about these samples is in carbon movement in the forest, because when there's more, leaf, more carbon dioxide in the air and trees are producing and dropping more leaves and there's more leaf litter on the ground, this means that there's more carbon in the leaf litter layer and so one of the things that's interesting to us is what happens to the extra carbon in the system. Okay, so once we've cut around the edge of the pizza pan, we need to rake away all of the leaves down to just the soil. So there's no pieces of leaves left on the ground in a circle around. And that's because when I take off the pizza pan, I wanna be very sure what is part of the sample and what isn't part of the sample. The project that I work on here in Barrow, Colorado Nature Monument, this project has been going on for 10 years because um, that's when something changes in the conditions of the forest, for example, the change we're doing, adding extra leaf litter, this is a change that doesn't, it doesn't take place really quickly. It takes lots and lots of time. And there are a lot of things that Take the, it takes the forest a long time to adjust to the new conditions. So we don't see effects immediately. That's why this project is so long term. Okay, so I've cleared all around it and there's nothing in this area around here that could be mistaken for part of the sample. So then I take off the pizza pan and here's my sample to collect. And the bag is labeled with which plot and which sample. So it's less to write in the forest because it's often raining and difficult to write things. So anything that can be pre-labeled is helpful. So now I'm down to the bottom of the sample and there's little bits of leaves mixed with soil. And so we collect everything that could be part of the leaf litter sample. And it's okay if I collect a lot of soil too because we're going to wash this sample to take away the soil. All right, so everything's in the bag now. The sample plus a lot of soil. 
So we're sure we've got all the parts. We try to put this a little bit back how it was. Now obviously there's less leaf litter here, but we don't want to make something that would disturb animals or insects, a giant ridge. So, so now we've got our samples and we can take them back to the lab and show you how we wash them and dry them and how we get the data from the leaves on the ground, how we get the carbon quantity in the sample.